the uh, recent past, what we are seeing is that the key officials of the government, such as ministers, officials, even judges, are uh, making statements that are pathetically false, anti-scientific, pseudo-scientific. Some time back, uh, we know that uh, a person in power claimed that uh, peacock produce their offsprings not by sexual production like other animals do, but by eating the teardrop of the male. Come on. Another one claimed that unlike other animals, cows exhale oxygen. I mean, that's uh, absurd. One of the fundamental characteristics of animal is that they inhale oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide. Of course, if they exhale that, there will be unused oxygen, but that is there for everyone, not just for cows. And there is uh, uh, nothing extraordinary about the cows uh, uh, exhale that. But then that was the kind of uh, comment that was being made. Then you had another person who said that uh, the theory of evolution has to be rejected because no human has seen human emerging from monkey. First point is that uh, it's a very common knowledge that the evolutionary scientists are not claiming that uh, humans came from monkeys, but humans and monkeys have a common ancestor. And second, when the evolution took place, which uh, evolved, that common ancestor evolved into humans or monkeys. There was no human to see. But then, this is a kind of uh, uh, pseudoscience and uh, atrocities uh, claims that are being made by people in power in high positions, which are not only ludicrous, but unfortunately undermines nurturing of scientific.